Infinity 2 family, welcome back to the channel, to Infinity 2, to Infinity here back again with another reading for you. Y'all, how is everybody doing? I hope all is well. I hope everybody is enjoying their weekend and I hope everybody is getting rest and preparing and cleansing yourself for this new moon. Hi and welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome to all the new viewers that will click onto the video. And um, I just want to say this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? You may catch some things that resonate with you and you may catch some things that don't resonate with you, okay? So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment giveaway in the comment section below and you will be entered into the giveaway, okay? So I was getting some channel messages, which you already know when the new moon comes, this is a new beginning, okay? This is a new time. This is a new cycle. This is another chance for you to start over. For some of you, you could be getting pregnant, okay? The fertility energy is very powerful, is very potent. For others of you, if you're not birthing, an actual being you are birthing an idea or you are birthing a new um, career I heard you're calling you're birthing your calling okay you you are bringing something from the from the from the um, mental realm to the spiritual realm and to the physical realm so new beginnings and the moon and intuition so use your intuition a lot at this time um something is completing and something is beginning the completion of a beginning okay that's what's taking place right now now's the time to share now is the time to donate now is the time to give things that you no longer need and let go of things that no longer serve you okay now is the time to um Harness your great power, okay? You have great power that has been bestowed upon you by the Most High God. And this is the power that you will use to bring forth your manifestations and to complete what you need to complete to begin what it is that you need to begin, okay? This time can, like, movement and completion can be dangerous because some people don't want you to complete something some people don't want you to end something some people want to keep you where they are or keep you stagnant or keep you in the same in the same position that you've already been in but you've grown and you've transformed and now it's time for you to start anew Okay, start a new because you are evolved at this time. So if you do things in a timely fashion, timely fashion is very significant at this time. Things have to be done in a timely fashion. All right, so those were the messages that I was getting. A release from tension and uncertainty right now is also what's going on. So you can be feeling relieved from certain situations that you were going through that you are no longer going through. Okay. So we already got one that popped out. We're going to start off with the sacred geometry. Our angels from all four corners, Mother Earth, Father God, come into this reading. Help me to channel these energies clearly and accurately. Our angel Michael, protect me and anybody that clicks onto this video as we look into this energy in the collective. Ashe, ashe, ashe. So the first card out that we have is Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine, you this is about you, okay? Divine Feminine, this is definitely about you. That's what I'm seeing here. You are in your soft side. You are in your soft girl era is what I'm hearing here, okay? And you are doing things from a loving point of view. You are do doing things from a loving, a loving nature, okay? You doing things... You're doing things too with the love of the Most High God, okay? So this is your current energy. You're in your energy. Divine Masculine, you could be in a soft energy as well. A nurturing, caring, loving type of vibe. That's what's up. That is what's up. I even got my little pink glasses here that I was going to wear for this video, but I'm not going to wear them because I can't even see. So I'm not going to wear them. But yeah, you're in your... 
some of you could be wearing pink some of you could be you know wearing like pastels is what i'm seeing here but you are in your soft you're in your soft era and divine feminine you are creating and birthing something new just like i said you could be pregnant you could be pregnant or you could be just birthing a new career or something new okay this is magic at the bottom of the deck you're manifesting, okay? And this is why this magic is here. Let's see what else for Devon Feminine. What else do we have? Emergence. This is the energy that's emerging. This is the energy that is definitely emerging in confirmation coming about, okay? Look, magic again, still at the bottom of the deck. So somebody sees that you are emerging and like i said movement could be dangerous uh, and this is why you need to keep things quiet and just wait on the most high god because you're in divine alignment there is you know secret stalkers and people that are literally like watching your movement watching what you're doing because they're competing with you okay they are and they see that you're emerging i'm telling you this is somebody that's in the third party dynamic this is somebody that you know they want to live off your success they want to live off of your merit they want to you know compete with you at the same time so that they can feel as if they are you know on your level of your stature that's what i'm hearing here yeah when you're a cosmic flower you're a cosmic flower. I'm seeing here number 21, 25, 23, and 18. Any of these numbers could be significant to you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Divine Feminine, you, you are in your own dynamic. Okay, you're in your own dynamic because you have authority. You've taken the wheel. You drew you some of y'all getting a new car if you didn't already. Okay, some of y'all. This is the the end of something, number 10. And you have the authority. You have the authority to move forward, okay? The, the Most High is giving you the authority to take charge of yourself, take charge of your life, take charge of your new beginning, okay? And nobody can control you. Nobody is in charge. Nobody is in charge over you, ruling over you, controlling you. What you want is emerging, Okay, what you desire is emerging. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And the Most High is giving you the, the authority to receive this. Okay? You're getting the authority. Look, empowerment, change, and the like. Empowerment, change, and the like. So you're being empowered at this time during this change. And the Most High wants you to know that the light is at the end of the tunnel okay the light is at the end of the tunnel so yeah look crown chakra you're getting a lot of ideas and these are miracles and you're working and you're doing things that have never been done before you are doing things that have never been seen before you are you know an innovative energy that's what i'm hearing here you're innovative and there's a lot of change that's taking place Lots of change. Number 12 could be significant to you as well. And number 26. So let's go ahead and... Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get some from the tarot. Let's put the deck on this, y'all. How I split the deck on this. Okay. Princess of Swords with the Magician here. This is the Divine Feminine. There's somebody, like I said here, they are watching you. They are basically studying what you do, how you do it, and things like that because they see you're emerging. People will try to create an illusion like you're not emerging or they will try to create illusion like um, you're not growing, okay? But... This is just an illusion. You are growing, okay? And you don't need anybody to tell you you're growing when you know yourself you're growing, okay? You don't need numbers to tell you you're growing. You don't need a person to tell you you're growing. You, yourself, you know you changed. You, yourself, you, yourself, you know you're in the energy of delight. 
you yourself know that you have authority. You have power, okay? To no one on this clock. I ain't mean to cut the video off, but the video don't cut off. So that's what I mean. Somebody wants you to be cut off from something. Somebody wants you to be cut off from source. Somebody wants you to be cut off from, you know, from the well. That's what I'm what I hear. I'm hearing here the well. Okay. So this is like, you know how people throw coins into the well and they make a wish, right? Okay. So you, you could have made a wish. But it's a lot of people that's wishing on you. So you're like the well, okay? You're like the well and people making their wish on you, okay? And Most High is giving you the authority to bring these wishes to fruition. And the Most High is empowering you with strength and courage to, so you can be able to do this. Okay, so you can be able to do this despite any magician, any magic, anything that's going on like that around you. See, seven of wands. You're being protected by the most high God when it comes to your new beginning, divine feminine. Seven of wands for divine feminine. Okay, you could be an Aries Leo Sag. It doesn't have to be. All right, you don't have to be, but yeah, you're getting a you're you're being protected. From this immature energy or you and your children are being protected divine feminine is what I'm seeing here. There's young people that's watching you as well. They see you emerging too. They're very impressed. It's like you're showing them something that they never thought was possible. Okay? They didn't even think that they could do it this new moon. I'm telling you, you showing them how it's done, divine feminine. You showing these young people are looking up to you. Okay, you could be Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, or Leo. But it's kids looking up to you because they see that you're emerging. They see that things are changing quickly. Look, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. There's this father figure as well that is watching you too there's this father figure as well or this could be for some of you a father figure for others of you this could be um a significant other okay for others of you this is yourself this is yourself okay but i feel like this is somebody's father figure here that is watching you okay and they see that you are balanced. They see that you're getting justice, but you could not be talking to this, this person right now. Or there's somebody here. Remember that princess of swords that I showed you at the beginning? They could not be talking. So this is the third party dynamic that I'm talking about, divine feminine. Okay, these people is under judgment. Look, princess of wands with the lovers. Yeah, these people is under judgment. Gemini energy, the hermit. They're under judgment because they try to block you, okay? Try to block you, send blockages to you when it comes to this third-party dynamic. They wanted to cause you to not emerge, not emerge, not become who it is that you're supposed to be. They wanted to block you from that. I'm telling you, Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely people in your family, but you you emerged out of that situation I'm seeing here. And now, look, the 10 is coming out again. You have authority and your family is secure. You're creating generational wealth. Okay, for your legacy. That's what I'm seeing here. And this is what you're emerging into. Somebody else, they feel like a fool because they see that you're doing this. They feel like a fool. They feel defeated because they see... That, you know, you're emerging and you're doing things of significance is what I'm hearing here. Doing things of significance. Queen of Swords. So this is somebody that did have a third party. This is somebody that did have a karmic partner or karmic relationship, okay, that you no longer deal with. You could be a Virgo or this could be about a Virgo and a Cancer. And I'm seeing here a divine masculine, divine feminine. 
So Divine Feminine already came out. And this is a Divine Masculine that was trying to keep you from emerging. Keep you from, you know, being empowered and fulfilling your desire from change, from the light. Okay? By keeping you in this type of situation where you feel like you have tension. You feel like you're in competition. You feel like you are, you know, having to be in some type of hermit mode all the time where you can't go out you can't converse with people okay you're feeling blocked but all that is coming to an end dynamic see this is who is doing this this karmic this is a karmic princess of pentacles this is a karmic this is what i'm talking about this third party situation look at this Okay, this is somebody here that just, this person here, they just wanted this masculine here for money, okay, for money. And they 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 were involved with, with this masculine just for money. Now this masculine knows that and that's why they feel like a fool. This person tried to join somebody's family just so they can get money. Mm -hmm. Something is, is changing now. Dynamic. Judgment. They're under judgment. They're getting bad karma. They're not protected. Okay. The Sagittarius energy. Something is being balanced up now at this time. You could be a Sagittarius. The chain has been broken. There's something that's being balanced up right now. This karmic is looking at you. And so is this masculine, divine, feminine. Because they see that there are things that are being balanced out for you in your life. And that, you know, you're on the good side of the of fortune. See? They're going through it. They're going through it for bad mouthing you. This person is in a lot of emotions. This king of cups, king of pentacles energy. They're in a lot of emotion right now. They're suffering. Ten of swords for talking a lot about you and being negative. This person and this karmic is also in danger of going to jail. They're going to jail for things that they did that they had no business doing. Okay? Magic and a, a, a host of other things is what I'm hearing here. So they're, they're in a lot of emotions right now. Eight of swords. There's a lot of truth that's coming out. That's what I'm hearing here. They're being exposed. Clarify this temperance with the judgment. This is, these are powerful, powerful times right now. Look, this cancer. I'm telling you, somebody could be in danger of going to jail. Y'all just seen the Eight of Swords with the justice and the, the chariot. That's jail. That is court, police cars, and jail. There's somebody that, yeah, they know they didn't invest properly. Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. And now they feel stuck because you have a type of authority from the Most High God. And that's why these new beginnings here are for you. The hero God. You know the hero God. You know the God that delivered you out of a really toxic situation. Yeah, a really toxic situation. God delivered you from this and gave you the authority to move forward in your life. And that's exactly what you're doing. That's why you're empowered now. That's why you have empowerment. To fully and completely, the ability to show up fully and completely. Okay, knowing that everybody is connected through the same source. You knew that. That's why you decided to do the things that you do and to change for the better. Other people, they did not know that, okay? They, they was doing magic on you, not knowing that you was protected by the Most High God. Not knowing that they, they from the same source you from. Why you doing magic and stuff? You you from the same source as me. You from the same source as Infinity Two Family. We all fall up underneath the Most High God. But they they didn't think that they they fell up under, you know, another God, another God. Okay, and that's why they decided to do magic on you. And the Most High was watching that the whole time, watching it. The Hierophant with the Magician, Taurus, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Authority. Look, and now that you, you you released, Four of Pentacles, you are released. There's no holding you back. There's no holding anything back from you. You have a new beginning, Ace of Cups. These karmas could not hold you back. 
Okay, this masculine could not hold you back. It was a whole group of these people. None of them could hold you back. These hoes can't hold me back. These niggas won't hold me back. These hoes won't hold me back. That's what I'm hearing here. Rick Ross. Some of y'all listen to Rick Ross. These hoes won't hold me back. These niggas won't hold me back. That is the truth, Holy Spirit said. No, they won't. No, they won't. It don't matter what they do. They will not hold you back. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, it don't matter. You still single, abundant, beautiful, and independent, not a pentacle. You still moving on up to the east side. That's what I'm hearing here. In a deluxe apartment in the sky, divine feminine. Look, and somebody, they suffering. They carrying heavy burdens for trying to cause you an injustice. See? They suffering right now. I showed you the Ten of Swords already. This is the Ten of Wands. Because they wanted you to suffer. Somebody here, they just try to sabotage you in court. Now these people, they, they heartbroken. Three of Swords to the Eight of Swords. These people, they suffering, stress worry, having anxiety. They they effed up right now. Because they, they're afraid of going to jail. But they wasn't afraid when they was doing all of this shit to you though. Make it make sense, okay? Empowerment. Clarify empowerment. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition, the moon card. Okay, the, your intuition is going to tell you what it is that you need to know. When it comes to these people, look, Aquarius energy with the two of pentacles. Something is definitely being balanced out that they try to cause an imbalance to you. Okay, not a pentacles. They something is definitely balancing now. Like I said, this is new beginnings. These are new begin beginnings for you, and the tension has been released. The uncertainty has been released. You know you get in your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is a many new beginnings for you, Demar Feminine. Just like I said. Okay, this change is taking place right now. That's what I'm seeing here. This change is taking place right now. And they're watching it. They're watching it. This could be a Virgo. This Virgo, they watching it. Or a Virgo, they're watching you. Okay? Yeah, they're very much so watching this change take place. And there's like really nothing that they could do about it. There's nothing that they could do about it. But they keep wanting to do some type of magic on you for some reason. Like, for what? When it was a whole group of people that was coming up against you. Okay, an unsolved mystery. Cause you helping to solve an unsolved mystery, Devon Feminine. You're helping to solve an unsolved mystery. Look, they don't look very happy. They don't look very happy because you have protection. Angels are surrounding you at this time. This is why they don't look happy because you are helping them solve an unsolved mystery. This is why they're afraid to go to jail. This is why they're not looking too happy right now. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. You're not looking too happy. There's an unsolved mystery here, y'all. Unsolved mystery. Wow. So you are helping to solve an unsolved mystery. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do we need to know before we go? You could be a homemaker or a wife or a we could be a mom. I'm also hearing that. This is what they going to court for. This is what they scared they going to jail for. Bruh, straight the fuck up. This is what they scared. They scared about this. Look, and this is this what the Most High said. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Psalms 27.3. Yeah, ain't no weapon for me against you shall prosper, honey. You are safe and secure. Okay, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. You are safe and secure. No weapon for me against you shall prosper. God is removing all blockages in your life. See, God is removing all blockages in your life. Okay, this keep coming up. Look, fake apology, heavily protected, spotlight looking you up see 
these people, they looking you up because you in some type of spotlight helping to solve an unsolved mystery. You heavily protected while they keep sending magic and shit at you. Okay? Yeah. And they know you are. And they know you are. And they ask this man in judgment, just like I already said, just like I already showed you. Mm-hmm. This person... It was a whole group of them, just like I showed y'all. They all low-level demons, Holy Spirit said. All of them. And they're all traitors. Do, do not trust them. They're all low-level demons and traitors, y'all. And this is what you're going to find out. Somebody's going to have a mental breakdown now because they didn't know what they was playing with or who they was playing with. Yeah, traitors, collective, don't trust them. They're traitors. And this is this is the message for today. See, because they keep on coming to your page, your channel with secret accounts, okay? Subscribing, I'm unsubscribing, I'm seeing that as well, but it doesn't matter. You divinely align. You divinely align. And whatever is for you, is for you. And don't forget, rejection is protection because you high ranking, high ranking, high ranking, 1551. So if you feel like, you know, if you f look, and look what it just said says your prediction came to pass your prediction came to pass okay so there's a lot of misunderstanding here and if you've been seeing this five 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 you're entering a powerful new chapter in life so i hope that this message helped you okay also 999 as well and this this full moon this new moon, excuse me, you will be seeing a lot of big changes. A lot of big changes. Somebody needs to step out of their comfort zone, release negativity, and meditate and contemplate is what I'm seeing. Yeah, because a fiery climax approaches. Lord, okay? Prosperity lies ahead. And every time a fiery climax, prosperity lies ahead, there's always a fiery climax, okay? So don't be worried. Don't be dismayed is what I'm hearing here. Dismayed. Don't be, don't be afraid, okay? The most high got you. And so does your angels. So, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here, y'all. Okay? Because like I told y'all, your angels got you. Your angels got you. They just sent me to give you the message. And look, it's a timely fashion. Do things in a timely fashion in the near future. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.